I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. That did the trick. I'm telling you, man, my insides were so backed up. I thought for sure I was gonna pop like a balloon. How'd you do that, anyhow? You some kind of doctor? Mercenary. Well, whatever you are, I seriously owe you. That chef's putting some crazy-ass spices in his food or something. Thanks, man. You're the best. Wait, what the... Where the hell am I? Yeah. <laughs> What happened with you know what? It's all taken care of. The only thing is the newbie screwed up. God, spotted by the <laughs> My, what mm -hmm. lovely weather we're having. Ooh. I'm ripping huh? off you, me, and everybody else. Part of town, so many fines. Yeah, anything good? Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. You may not like the people you find down here. Look at this 
garbage. Can't someone do something about it? The Shinra Nika. And then there was this crazy looking house, right? And it was all like trying to kill him. But then Cloud was all like, bam, bam, boom. Your friend fought a house. A house? Oh, hey, welcome back, bro. Better already? Yeah, now he won't shut up. Anyway, how'd the deliveries go? I did about as much as I could. That's fair. Still, if you can find the time to deliver the rest, you'd be doing me a pretty big favor. Anyway, I promise to be worth your while. Here, I got something you're definitely gonna like. What is it? Well, it belonged to the owner of the clothing store first. Heard from the cook that you boys been running all over town looking for this. Am I right? Wait, we have? Hold up. What were we doing before all this? Oh shit! The inspiration! Bingo! You see, all us wall market entrepreneurs go way back. We get together for a game every night, bet all kinds of stuff. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession, and now it's yours, cause hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card, highly coveted and extremely rare. They're only given to a select few. Not having it is gonna do you much good, but... Holy mother of, no way! Bro, we gotta get to the honey, er, I, I, I mean drunkards on the double. Tell the old man I said hi. Come on, come on, come on! I got to know. bean popcorn. My heart is beating so fast, bro. Like it's gonna burst right out of my chest. Hey, old dude, we're back! Huh? Who are you? You're no son of mine, I think. Special delivery, just for you. Ho oh, ho! My inspiration! You've returned to me at long last! Yo, is that what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is! And it was hard won! I sew dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after. A honeybee in VIP card! I knew it! Now make way for the VIP, boys. I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer. But first, I should pick up a gift dress. Lead the way, old dude. We are coming. <sighs> Chocobo bean popcorn here. Shaped like everybody. Hey, how's about this? <sighs> well, thanks for bringing him back. Can't imagine what you went through. Here, you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Get ready for a real wall market education. I'm done with this. You, you can do whatever the hell you want. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. Uh. It's a pity you're not gonna join us, but I swear to you, bro, as an aspiring wall market connoisseur, I'm gonna go in there and get as much inspiration as I can handle for you, bro. For you. Because, Cloud, you are my one true bro. Honeybee in, here I come! Inspiration, here I come! <sighs> Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. Until I see the ice tag inside. Oh, it's absolutely lovely. 
never seen you before. Wow, I've been waiting for you to show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Wanna try taking on one of our guys? Huh, you're not serious, are you? Look at him! He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you... Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichore left out in the sun. You've got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. Now don't go crying to mommy. I knew you could do it. Your form's looking good. Not bad at all. That's how it's done. You've got this, come on! Your form's looking good! That's how it's done! Not bad at all! I knew you could do it! You've got this, come on! Not bad at all! Your form's looking good! That's the best you can do! Your form's looking good! You've got this, come on! I knew you could do it! Not bad at all. That's how it's done. I knew you could do it. You've got this. Come on. Your form's looking good. Now don't forget to breathe. Nothing to it. How the hell did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. <laughs> Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud? We're all one big family here at this gym, and now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Yeah! Should probably go see Sam again. What'd you see in our little enclave of sand and debauchery? Bet it was an eye-opening experience. Nothing I haven't seen before. That it for jobs? Not exactly. I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see. We've been waiting for you, champ! Stands are packed thanks to you. 
Now get out there and give them a show! Lovers of bloodshed and mayhem, your favorite champion, Cloud, is back in the ring! Right now, this boy may be hot, hot, hot. But look out, folks, because these dynamite challengers may just blow the champ clean off his throne. I hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks. Fighters, begin! Gotta give it my all. about Tifa. Ah, Tifa. She's something of a bombshell herself, huh? Girl keeps in shape, and boy, does it show. Hey. Just making an observation, that's all. Anyway, it seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament. I could tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well, you helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite, even. Getting mixed up in other people's business in my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you can ride to a rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. <laughs> At any rate, I've said all I'm gonna say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa. But she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long and she might just blow up in your face. Go ahead. 
Hey, I'm talking to you. I said they're good. Hmm? I think this is where they said to me. She, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro, I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Bam, bam, whoosh, whoosh, you know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but, uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! You again? Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madame M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh?
look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. What? Say that again. Don't be like that. You're still the most beautiful girl ever. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? This is it, your destination. Why are we here? To see the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. Okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! Mister, move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on. Ooh. The show's about to start. Oh. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you? Now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, oh, he's flushing.
Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? Oh, I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Follow my lead. I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin!
beauty is an expression of the heart, a thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid to. today blew my mind. Hey, look at me. I could dance too. How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. It was amazing. Drink. You talk. Oh, wow. Was it planned from the now start? That was a show. Did you see their look Cloud. of surprise? Yoo-hoo. Cloud. Hello? Aerith to Cloud, come in. Aerith to Cloud, come in. Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No! But you're so but pretty! But such flowers, I don't know. from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you I say so. You. Come on. Yeah, it's definitely been a fun time. How was your stream going? Uh, pretty good. It's about one in the morning, so... The Very two tired, of you here for the audition? Second floor, oh, at the oh, very yeah. end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Awesome. That was Madame M's girl, ain't it? Man, she was that Andrea's girl? I'd let her do Go to your to room me. and wait. Quietly. It was not that door. Hey, hands to yourself! door do you want, big man? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. I'm, I'm kind of whispering a little bit. Gas. Why you don't go into a strange uh, Come on. Damn it. Cloud. <laughs> okay, so before we continue, I have to point out something. This man can make jumps from like a giant pipe while it's falling. But he can't open a door that's locked? But that's all. And thank you very much, Naminé. I appreciate that. Um, it's been a very good night, and I hope that your night's been just as good as well. So, hey pretty ladies do Feeling a little light headed but we can't have that. Let's take this creature to the parlor so you can make yourself more comfortable. 
Let's get this show on the road. Oh, where are you taking us? Come on now. Not too crazy. Baby, you can't ask her. Then how? You want to throw down? They're Corneo's girl. So if you leave a mark on them, you ain't getting off with a one. I know. Man, it's starting to get some real lookers this time, though. <laughs> oh, Listen, they better not touch my earrings. I worked hard for that. Hey, can you hear me? <clears throat> oh. Tifa? They're still there. Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. Thanks, but Dominic. But I, I couldn't figure out why. You have a good so I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Now ladies, listen up! I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin! Head out the door to the left and up the stairs! Come on ladies, let's hustle! Alright guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. <sighs> hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. Oh god, I never realized his beard looked like that. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's 
it's on it's on the flap line. Oh yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Today's bride to be is running Today's? away. And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Thank you, Cloud. Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah, yeah we! Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day! Oh! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stupid! Oh, wait! <laughs> Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I believe I came to clean this up. Just finish the job. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Better hurry. Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time because like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Look at that. What are you doing? Hey, I you won't let you down. You could rejects. <laughs> One more shot. Yep. Let me get it. I'm backing off of it. <laughs> get ready. Go on. I'm ready for you, you little. Worked up a good sweat. <laughs> Don't stop. Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am. 
<laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh. 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 <gasps> so you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. <laughs> when they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> 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 Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> We're finally free of the ball market. Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <laughs> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it.
somewhere in the... Damn it, Reeks. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night here, but we will be back tomorrow to finish the story, hopefully. We will see you then.